Who here knows who she is? Or have heard something about her or have seen her in the news or something? Okay, so. um, her name is Libby Maynard. She died on November 1st. She was one of the few to be granted um, to die with dignity. Uh, furthermore, I will discuss more about what that really means. Um, according to Milan Stadinovic, I can't pronounce his name, <laughs> an article on Psych Central website, um, according to the American um, Cancer Society, uh, 500,000 people died um, each year from cancer, average to 1,500 each day. Um, I want to talk about euthanasia because I found an interest on the medical field. So euthanasia was one of the, like, the, 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 the that fell in that part. Um, by learning more about euthanasia, you will have a better understanding of the alternatives um, people that have terminal illness um, um, choose. What is euthanasia? Oh, first, I will discuss about what is euthanasia. Second, I will discuss where it's legal, and then finally, I will discuss I will discuss um, the different types of euthanasia. Euthanasia, according to the article of um, on the Right to Die Society. Um, euthanasia comes from um, two Greek words, ui and santos, meaning good death. Um, euthanasia is um, typically the, like, like an injection or a medication um, in those to someone that has a terminal illness and is about a, has like less than six months to die. Um, who is um, who's eligible? Anyone who is um, like I said, has a terminal illness or has less than six months to die, is eligible for euthanasia, but not not in all states are, it's um it's legal. Now I discuss what euthanasia is. Secondly, I will discuss um I will discuss where it's legal. It's legal in the Netherlands, Belgium, and in the U.S. It's only legal in Montana, Washington, and Oregon. Um, like, I, like I pretty mentioned, um, Brittany Maynard was one of the few to, um, to be eligible for um, Indonesia. She lived here in the U.S. Um, she had to move to Oregon in order to get to, to, um, to be allowed to proceed with, a, with, her, um, with her wish to die with dignity. She had to move to Oregon. She had to like, get, get a license like, from there to be a resident in order to go ahead with the process. So it was, it was pretty hard for her to, to, um, to get granted. Um, she was diagnosed with stage four can uh, brain, tum a brain tumor on um, a cancer. She had, um, the doctors had told her that she had like, no way of surviving and that it was, really, it was gonna be really painful. So her choice was to um, proceed with euthanasia and um, die with dignity. Now that I discussed um, where who is eligible and where it's where it's legal, I will now discuss the different types of euthanasia. We have non-voluntary and voluntary euthanasia. Non-voluntary is um, typically when um, someone's in, com in, in coma and um, they have no choice and like to disconnect them. They have no um, no say in which um, to die or to live. So the family members have uh, the right to disconnect them from the machine or uh, you know let them die. Typically, we see that in um, babies as well. Like they have no right or no say, like if whether to be um help to be kept alive or not. Um, voluntary euthanasia is when um just like Brittany Maynard, she asked for help to um to die. So it's like um that's voluntary euthanasia. We also have active and passive euthanasia. Active is when um. A doctor um, um, gives you medication, like to like a process to die, and then we have passive euthanasia, which is almost the same as um, non-voluntary, which is um, but right there you have a say in which um, you stop treatment, like if you have cancer and you don't want to continue the treatment because you think it's too painful, so you have a say in whether to stop treatment and let, let yourself die. Now that I've discussed um, about what is euthanasia? Where um, I also discuss where it's legal, and find, and I finally discuss for different types of euthanasia. Mm. 
I hope, hope now you have a, a greater understanding of is it, what um, euthanasia means and uh, the, alter the alternatives that people that have terminal illness um, take um, decide. Um, I talked about um, what is euthanasia. I also talked about. Uh, where it's legal, and I also I also talked about the different types of euthanasia. Finally, let's wrap it up. Um, if you have to, ch if you uh, like, now that you have better understanding of euthanasia, and um, if you were if you were ever in Brittany Maynard's position, and if you had if you had to choose the way to die, would you do it? <laughs>